Jones, he's been coming out to And today, playing around with binaural audio to make sounds feel realistic in VR. So let me dive in right here. And so we got this cube that comes with part of VRTK, and this is gonna be our audio source. And so now, if I actually put it up to my left ear, it'll sound as if it's coming from my left. And you can try this at home using your own headphones. And so now, if I toss it over to my right, it should now sound like it's coming from my right. I can also have it up in front of me, it sounds like it's coming in front of me, and I can also put it behind me, and it should sound like it's coming from behind me. So, binaural audio is really amazing for making scenes feel realistic, so let's learn how to build it into our own Unity scenes. Alright, so starting off here, gonna open up Unity. And then we'll go ahead and create a new project. We'll call this one Spatial Audio Video. And I'm just going to go ahead and save that to the desktop. So I'll give it a second. And then the three main assets we're going to want to use are the Google VR SDK, Steam VR, and lastly is VRTK. And we're just using VRTK to quickly play around with it. But to, to do that, we can go to the asset store, and I'm just gonna cut from here once, as, and as soon as I get all of the three things imported, then I'll join you guys again. All right, so now I've got all of the things imported. I also have that intro song that you heard, which I just got off of YouTube audio library. And the one thing I will point out specifically is I had to cut it to a mono file. So for positional audio, it's best to use mono files for this. But to get started here, I just first quickly want to go into the demo scene. So if I go in here, and let me go ahead and put some headphones on, and hit play, we actually don't hear anything. And the reason for that is we actually have to enable the Google Audio. So to do that, we can go into Edit, Project Settings, and Audio. And in these settings, there's the Spatializer plugin. And so there's the Oculus one and the GVR one. I, in this video, we're just going to go over the GVR one, but know that Oculus one exists. I personally think the Google one is better, and it's a lot more optimized because it's supposed to run on cardboard, but it's just so powerful and definitely something to keep in mind. So got to set that here, and if you have any other settings you want, you can definitely go ahead and use them, but for now, this is more than enough. So now if we hit play, we now hear it, and I'm actually going to disable the maximize on play so that we can also see the, pro the scene view. But we can now see it. It's all based on where the camera is and where this cube is. And so if I click on the cube, we'll see that there's an, a GVR audio source, and this is what's controlling the location of where the audio is coming from. And so I'm just going to stop this here. and. I'm also gonna, just to play around with it a little bit, I'm going to enable occlusions. So what this allows us to do is actually go ahead and let me just quickly create a cube right here. And uh, I will scale it up a bit, just so we can have a bit more room to play with. Uh, maybe scale it down just a tad. All right, so something like that. And I'm gonna start it off here. So now, again, if you have headphones, you can take a listen. But basically what will end up happening is I can cover it, and now it sounds as if it's coming from behind the wall. And the reason for that is because I specifically went in and enabled occlusions. And so we can definitely use that for our audio sources and just in general, and it's just super powerful to use. I, I will say that this audio source is kind of weird, but just to just give you a sense, it's like it's still super powerful here. and. The spatialization is all happening, so if I was rotated, it would know that and then I'll calculate for that accordingly. So, really cool stuff there. And that's, it's not anything, it's not any magic. So, all that's happening is if we click on this guy, we have the audio source here, so super similar to a normal audio source. You actually don't need the normal audio source. And then on the main camera, what we have is our normal audio listener and then also the GVR audio listener. So this is what's allowing us to get that spatial effect. And I think it used the rotation on the object with the audio listener to basically know how you're rotated and which ear is pointing where, and it'll do that calculation for you. So now that we have a basic understanding of how it works, let's just jump into VRTK to make it work with the vibe. So I'm just gonna go into an example scene here, 
Let's go to the basic object grabbing one, and we will not save the demo. We don't need to. And I'm just going to go ahead, click on you, and let's just set it up real fast. So what we need is a audio source, the GBR audio source. And then we also want our audio clip. So I'm just going to go ahead. Again, it's better if your source is mono. I'm not sure if it works if it's stereo. Uh, I'm just going to add the loop component. You can play with all of these similar as a audio source. And then I'm just going to add the occlusion in here just because we can. And so now that the cubes here are already automatically grabbable, the only other thing we need to do is just go to the head. Steam VR automatically has a camera ears component, which has the audio listener. And it has Steam VR ears, but that's not what we want. We actually want the audio, oops, audio listener. And we already have, a nor you need both. You need a normal audio listener, and then you need the GVR audio listener. So having both allows you to listen. And I'm just going to quickly move my play space closer to here, just so that I can actually touch the objects and play around with it. But at this point, we've pretty much set up what we had at the opening, so let's just play with it. All right, so we're in. Again, can lift it up. So if you noticed this before, it actually, it's the case where if uh, my controller is touching it, the object thinks it's occluded and it, it already automatically softens it. So we can, we, it feels like it's coming from the left. Oops, and I drop it. Feels like it's coming from the right, but the audio did feel like it was coming from the ground. And then if I toss it behind here, it feels like it's coming from behind there. So that's pretty much it. Nothing terribly complicated, but it makes a world of a difference if you actually incorporate this into your projects. So I hope people take advantage of it that Google and Oculus are already working on some super cool stuff to make our audio sound amazing. And also point out when you use your headphones, it's important to, inside of the inside of these specifically, there's the left and right side, so sometimes it might feel misaligned. But it's still a really cool technique for hinting to users where they should be looking. So hope you guys use it and found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like or subscribe. Those definitely let us know that you guys really enjoy these things. But other than that, this has been Fuse Man, and I'm signing out.